Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality. In today's video, we're going to go over how to handle multiple environments and multiple environment variables uh, using Playwright. Now, this is really handy if you're testing against, say, you have some test environments and then you also test against production and you have a bunch of variables that might change during each environment. So there's multiple ways you can do this, but I'm going to use the .env npm package. So the first thing you need to do is say npm install .env hyphen hyphen save and hit enter in your terminal. And this is gonna allow us to handle having multiple environment files that we can tailor and add to whatever we want and we'll go through that next as well. So once that's added, at the top level of my test, you can put this anywhere, but I'm putting it at top level. I'm gonna create a new folder and call it env. Now inside the env folder, I'm going to add some new files. So I'm gonna say uh, .env.local. So this is gonna be my local environment and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna rename this to .env. Production and of course you can name these what you want. Typically you have .env there, but this could be whatever. I'll tell you what, I'll just name it prod to make it easier. But if you have multiple test environments, you could name local as the first test environment, and then you can have another for the second test. So inside here, all we can all we need to do is store all of our environment variables we want. So I could say URL and let's take uh, commit quality as the example. So my website, and I'll do the same then for production. Put that in here until we'll just make this point to another page of our website just so we can see the difference. So all I'm going to do in this is I'm going to just do some console logs to show how it's working. You can add whatever you want in here. So I could say uh, commit quality equals tutorials. And then I could copy this and they, you don't have to have the same, but of course, if you didn't have commit quality in here, when you're running your test on prod and it didn't have it, any test that's used now would obviously start to fail. So typically you're gonna match up the keys that you have here. So I could say subscribe in this instead of tutorials. Now with this done, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna to go to our Playwright config file to tell Playwright that we actually wanna make use of these .env files. So if I go to my Playwright config, first of all, I'm going to wanna to import .env. So I'm gonna say import .env from, uh, there we are, .env, because we installed that at the start of the video. And then anywhere on the top level, so in my case, I'm just gonna put it right at the top here. I'm gonna say where we wanna look at our config. So we're gonna say dot env dot config. And in here, we're gonna say where the path to the config lives. Now, bear in mind, I've created two files. I've created an env local and an env prod. So we need to be a bit smart with this to say we want it to be dynamic. And how I'm gonna actually handle this is before I run our tests in the terminal, I'm gonna set an environment variable so we know what to point at. So uh, follow along with this, we're gonna say, right, so the top level folder, it's inside the env folder and here then we want to say dot because it starts with a dot and let's add some string interpolation here and i'm going to say process.env and how we'll just call it env you can name this what you want this is just another environment variable what i'm going to say is i'm either going to have local as my env here set or prod and don't get env confused with this one this is just saying access an environment variable it's process env called env capital so yeah i could name this subscribe and as long as i set an environment variable called subscribe then it'll all be fine but just to keep it nice and simple i'm going to say env all capitals so what we're saying here is in the dot env config when we load up playwright we're going to look for a process env variable that's called env and it should either be called local or prod otherwise it's not going to look into these files so i won't do that yet and i'll show you what we'll see so let's go back to our test then and all we really have to do is put a console.log here so we're not doing anything special but hopefully you can see that if we were pointing to this local and we said get the url we could say page dot go to this url and it would uh, take it from env file so i'm going to say console dot log and i'll say again process dot env and now i can take whatever one from here so we can do both we'll output the url and then we'll add another one which will output what do we name it we named the commit quality so let's copy this 
and paste this in here. So if I was to run this test right now, which it's the only test we have, so that'll be cool. So I can say MPX Playwright test. What we should see is because I haven't set this capital ENV variable yet, it's all undefined, which is completely normal. This is what you would see, and this is what I was talking about. If you don't set this file, this path up correctly, you're gonna see undefined and it'll start causing problems in your test. What we can actually do, let's just clear this a minute. To make sure that we point into one of these, we can just set an environment variable, and I'm inside PowerShell. So in PowerShell, to set an environment variable, you can say $env colon, whatever we want it to, whatever the environment variable we want to set. So in our case, it's capital ENV. So I'll say colon ENV. And I'll say equals. And let's just change this to local. Hit enter, and that should all be safe for us now. Now then, I'm going to rerun the test. And what I'm expecting now is where we had undefined before, I'm expecting to see commitquality.com and tutorials output it as two console.logs because that's what we've done here inside our tests. Ooh, we've still got undefined. Let's have a look into this test. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Ah, okay, here we go. I've got forward slash env and I've got dot local, but it's actually dot env dot local. So what we actually want to put here is env dot and then the string being passed through would be dot local. So you can see how easy it is to kind of get this wrong as well. So maybe when you start setting up straight away, maybe just point directly to a file. Because if I'd done this, we know this one would have worked because we didn't need to set any extra environment variables. But hopefully with this, we've got .env.local or .env.prod. So let's save this and rerun. It's quite good that that failed because it can show you how we can kind of debug this and what points you need to look out for. So here we go. We got commitquality.com and tutorials. Let's change it. Let's change this to prod and then rerun the test. And what I should see now, instead of these two, URL, this URL and this tutorials being output, we should see the same URL, but go into the learn page. And on this, we shouldn't see tutorials. We should see subscribe. So let's hit enter and see how that goes. Awesome. There we are. We've got to go into this URL and we've got subscribe. So hopefully this puts the pieces together of how you can kind of create your own environment specific files, add whatever key values you want in here. You can set your environment variable and go. It gives you that kind of extra flexibility that you can't just do inside the Playwright config itself. So of course, URL wise, you could set the base URL down here in your projects, but it depends how you want to set up your projects. You might want to set it up for just um, browsers and mobile emulation, and then you can keep everything inside here. Totally up to you, but you've got the option to do that. So the key takeaways on this is you have to install .env. You need to create your environment files, whatever you want on them. You can add any key value pair you want in here. Inside Playwright Config, you need to make sure that you're pointing to the correct path because that's where we saw the error and where it wasn't working. And then to access any of these environment variables that live inside these files, you can just use this process.env and the dot whatever the key name is. In this case, URL commit quality, whatever else you want. Hopefully this helps you working with multiple environments. As always, if you did enjoy the video, a like and subscribe is appreciated. If you do have any questions, drop them down below. I've now enabled super thanks on my videos as well. You can click the super thanks button. And if anyone wants to donate to uh, me creating these videos, that would be amazing. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.